you know, and let's not forget uh, it, the oil business. I mean, I, I had a, a guest on the show recently from mm -hmm. Caracas, uh, someone who actually sued Hugo Chavez in, in the, the Hague court. Um, but he pointed out that a lot of these guys, their interest is, is just doing just fine, right? Because they're in the dr drug trade. Why be in the oil business when you can be uh, effectively acting as the, the drug runner to the world by way of Colombia, i.e. the drugs are being grown, cocaine in Colombia, and they're just being shipped out through the ports of Venezuela and it's sanctioned, by the way, by the government and the military because everyone's on the take. That's, I mean, that's exactly it. Just about a year and a half ago, President Trump ordered uh, the designation of then Vice President Tarek al uh, as a drug trafficking kingpin, specifically for that reason, right? For his role in drug trafficking and working with violent Mexican uh, cartels. And to date, uh, the U.S. Treasury Department has seized $500 million of drug trafficking related assets. And that segues back to that's money that can be used for the reconstruction of Venezuela that could have been used to help out the Venezuelan people, but instead you have senior government officials neck deep in drug trafficking in that country. All right, so now we're, we're in this standoff, right? It, mm -hmm. it, <clears throat> but I am hearing some encouraging signs. I'm hearing that there's a little bit of a movement there in Caracas in terms of both sides maybe talking. I'm hearing that both sides are talking in Norway. Um, what does that get us to, Anna? I think we should recognize that it's good that they are talking, but this should not be seen as the only solution to Venezuela's problems. Maduro has never engaged in credible negotiations. He's never followed through with promises that he's made. And for him right now to negotiate his exit would essentially be for him to agree that his previous elections were fraudulent, which obviously we know he's not going to do. And frankly, uh, there's really little that Maduro needs to negotiate. He should simply step down. Yeah. I mean, it's the right thing to do. Um, look, nobody wants us to escalate into some kind of military conflict, but at the same time, you get mm -hmm. Carlos Vecchio from Venezuela. He's the representative in the U.S., meeting with Southcom, meeting with Pentagon officials, trying to figure out strategies and plans. I talked to Steve Bannon mm -hmm. about that uh, on the show. Uh, I want you to hear what he had to say. Here mm -hmm. we go. Russia is a troublemaker. They're always going to try to be causing trouble, right? China is the one to worry about, and China is also getting involved down there, obviously Cuba. Mm -hmm. I think at first it's the frontline nations. It's Brazil. It's Colombia. You have to do this in partnership. You know, we have to clean, we have to clean this type of stuff up, but we can't do it with military intervention. Okay, Ana, so where's Brazil on this? Where's Colombia? Where's the Lima group? Are they coming around? Because they got to show some leadership, too. You know, I think the South American countries within the Lima group, the core Lima group members like Brazil and Colombia and, and Peru have shown an incredible amount of, of leadership on this issue. I think where the, the major and significant challenge is, is frankly the European Union. On one hand, they recognize Guaido, but then on the other hand, they refuse to implement and expand their sanctions regime against them, against Maduro. And so if you're Maduro right now, you're thinking, well, you know, the United States is being tough on me, South America is being tough on me, but I still have an avenue, an aperture, an opening with the European Union, and frankly, and I can way, manipulate a big, them. A big one with the Russians. I mean, well, look, exactly. we got a lot of ammunition. Yes. I'll get right back to that. China doesn't like hearing that, <laughs> certainly from me, right? The fire coming out of her eyes and everything, but we do have ammunition in the way of sanctions, and we could sanction all we wanted as far as Russia goes, as far as any European mm. economy goes that wants to do business with Maduro, anyone that is doing mm. business with someone we deem a threat to the people of the Western Hemisphere, you're out. Simple enough. That'll get some yeah. people talking. Anna, thank you. Thank you. Good to see you.